A Dallas rapper was murdered outside of his car on I-35 near the Dallas Zoo. Hello, I'm Steve Eager. I'm Heather Hayes. It is a stark example of the city's struggle to control violent crime. Police say the victim, a hip-hop musician named Mo3, was approached by the killer on I-35. Both men stopped their vehicles. The victim got out, took off, started running, but was shot several times on the highway. A bystander inside another vehicle was also hit. Police say that person did not suffer life-threatening injuries. Man, whoever got the motherfucking freeway blocked out need to get y'all shit together, dog. God damn. Nick ain't get on the fucking freeway. Man, law got the freeway blocked out while we on Pope, dog. Fuck they got well, tonight we have confirmed that rapper Boozy was shot in Dallas. That word coming from Mo 3's manager, Brandon Rainwater, but he didn't give us any more details. Police say someone called 911 and reported the shooting at Big T Bazaar earlier this afternoon. But when officers arrived, they didn't find anything. They did say someone later turned up in a nearby hospital with a gunshot wound. However, they don't know if it's related. TMZ is reporting that the Louisiana rapper was in fact shot in the leg and is being treated at a hospital. Boozy was among the hundreds of family and friends who attended last night's candlelight vigil for Dallas rapper. And then a dentist, an aspiring rapper, Dr. Rose or Jarrett Rosenborough was shot too multiple times when leaving his office. Now along with Rosenborough, two other people were wounded in the shooting north of downtown Dallas. The two rappers and bystanders are recovering now at a hospital. And in Houston, another rapper shot. Now, this is the fourth rapper that this has happened to within the past week right here in Texas. He goes by the name Benny the Butcher or Jeremy Damon Pennick. Pennick was shot in the leg at a Walmart. I don't talk about dead folks, bro. I can tell this about that nigga being dead. He been dead in my fucking house, nigga. See, that's what y'all don't realize. Coon ass fools. That nigga wasn't fucking coming outside. So I be hearing, I be reading them coming. Folks talking about you happy that nigga dead, you can breathe. Man, that man was making videos in the motherfucking kitchen, nigga. Downtown Dallas, nigga. Nigga knew all the high spots. Yeah, like you said in your song, we know all your high spots. Nigga knew all that shit. 1400, nigga. Nigga know what's going on, bitch ass nigga. All in the kitchen, every video. Singing and mocking my partner. Now they up there beating your ass. You want to fight them with some of my fighting partners, they would have fought you. The fuck? Oh, that's why I tell nigga, fuck that fight shit, nigga gonna kill us anyway. See, when you were my partner, you were cool money, though. Yeah, running to my shop every time you got a tour with niggas. I don't give a fuck about this shit, nigga. Swear to God, nigga. That was, I was cool with that nigga. You know how many niggas wanted that nigga head when he was my partner? No, you can't do that. I want that PS5, bitch. No, no, you can't do that. No, 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 you can't do that. No, 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 you can't do that. No, 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 can't do that. And what'd he do? Speed in my face. God damn it. Every time I be nice, you back on me. Talking and doing all that in your videos, nigga. God don't like ugly. I believe in God. Hey, nigga, I'm the nigga in Dallas who had everybody together, nigga. Remember that shit. I'm the nigga who had everybody together, nigga. He didn't want to be with everybody. And everybody talking about unity, nigga. It's still unity, nigga. It ain't no smoke. <coughs> I love my city. My city love me. It's you out of town, folks. This tripping. But I know how it go. It's like. I've been the bad, I've been, I've been used to be the bad guy my whole motherfucking life. Shit. Nigga been counting me out a long time ago. I guess there's only one place to start, huh? Yeah. Uh, Dallas. Yeah. Home. Home of the killers. Home of the G's. Yeah. So I, we, I are you, you go ahead. You start. I'll let you start it off. I just want to start off with a question as okay. Like, why do you think it's happening now? Like, what is leading people to like just want to act up now? Cause that's what I'm trying to figure out. I know I know some of this stuff stems back like years, months, but I'm just trying to really put together like what like is it like the opportunity? Is it people just, you know, lacking? Like what is it? And money, people ain't getting money. People ain't getting money. I, you know, I, I would kind of blame some of COVID. You got to think, you got a twelve hundred, twelve hundred dollar a month stimulus, or not a month, but twelve hundred dollar right. stimulus check. You haven't, we haven't got a second one. Rappers, no shows, no shows. Rappers can't do shows. So, Trap Boy Freddie, Met Mo Three, Yellow Beezy, none of them could go out the, you know, go out the state to do a show. 
Right. Like, you know, um, at one point in time, I know Dallas rappers was always getting sh- show, uh, show love in Florida. They can't go to Florida to do, to do shows. Right. No one and can Louis- Louis- Louisiana, too. You and know, Louisiana. big market for... It's yeah, a big so, market for Dallas rappers. So Louisiana, Arkansas, Oklahoma. I don't know about New Mexico. I've never heard about anybody say anything about New Mexico. I would say I would say Houston rappers probably got like a bigger, a bigger lock, well, a bigger like scene in like Arizona, New Mexico. Okay, yeah, I've never yeah. heard anything like that. But yeah, for Dallas, Oklahoma, for sure. You go to Tulsa, right? All the way OKC, to Canada, OKC, Arkansas. You go to Pine Bluff. Mm-hmm. Uh, in Fayetteville, that's where the college is for University of Arkansas. Right. So that's what I kind of blame some of it. But this beef has been brewing for a long time. And, but I don't think, but again, this is all alleged, right? As of right now, people are saying Mo3 was set up by a female. I'm not going to say the, the young lady's name. That's none of my business. Uh, if she did, what, what did I say last week? Ninety five percent of of all hip hop beef start with women, either because of women or a bad contract. I right. said I said that last week. Ninety five percent. I and I hate I hate it. Might have came true. I really do hate that, especially in my city, where I want to see everybody grow and shine. Now I'm not gonna be here and say I, I listened to Mo Three faithfully. I didn't. I didn't listen to Mo Three at all. Now the other rapper on the end of the table, Trap Boy Freddie. I listen to Trap Boy Freddy. I like Trap Boy Freddy. Mm-hmm. I do. I and, I and I don't listen to Yellow Beezy. So there, you know, there are two rappers that he associates or he kind of associated with. I didn't listen to, but I listened to him. And then there's a comedian who is no longer with us that I really enjoyed. He was my funniest person to watch on the internet. Mm-hmm. So right now, this is this is you know struck everybody in a hard way. Now. It, uh, has there been has there been anybody apprehended? No. As far as like uh, or any suspicion that this might have been not not so much like coming from like Cool Money or like Trap Boy Freddy's camp, but anybody that I guess would, for lack of a better word, be willing to like die for Trap Boy, you know? Um, I think everybody would. I want to say everybody, you know, take a special kind of person to like in his family I think it takes, or in his in cool money as a whole. I think all of them would probably because he's, done, he's just, done so much. But, I'm talking more about people outside of the out of the camp that maybe just have love for him, maybe not directly associated with him, but but just be willing to act on his behalf. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. I know money talks. Right. Money does talk. Right now we're in a people don't want to call this a recession. This feels like a recession that we're in right now. Mm-hmm. So can we think about it, man? Like just the way they went about it is still insane, man. Like this is a this is a event that took place on a on a busy highway. The busiest freeway in Dallas. On a on a on in daylight. In broad happened, daylight, like, yes. yes. Broad, like what, one p.m. something like that? Uh, twelve thirty noon. Twelve thirty noon. Because I got, I started seeing the tweets at one o'clock. Mm-hmm. And when I said that, I said, "Wait a minute!" Like he got shot. I because I said, "I said he got shot on the freeway." Mm-hmm. I said, "No." See, that, I said, "There's no way." That's what gets me. Like how how do you um not get somebody when it's on the freeway in broad daylight? And you would a car would a car just be like right beside him and just act casually and just go off, or would would he go f- like dust off? How do you not how do you not get the guy if it's right there in broad daylight? That's what confuses me. Well, they said there was an innocent bystander who shot back. Mm-hmm. So they, oh, yeah. that's what they're saying. Now, police haven't said that. This is what the streets are saying, and this is what I, I watched a video over some of this. Just because people are gonna get on the internet and blab, they gonna they gonna get on the internet and talk. They want to, you know, they want to say, "Oh, I know about you know so and so, so and so." So, I, so I'm sitting here watching the video. Dude, done tell, he done told the whole thing. He said, "Yeah, they watching them and all that." And I'm like, "All right, half of this stuff I don't believe." Honestly, I think they caught him. I I do think they they might they might have gotten lucky. 
They definitely got lucky on the freeway. Yeah. Let, let's be real about that. Now, the only problem is that people keep connecting this to Trap Boy Freddy is because he, he was on the same freeway. People don't realize 67 turns into 35. So mm-hmm. it's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's bound to happen. It's bound to happen. Two people who don't like each other are going to end up on the same freeway at the same time. That's that's just realistic. Hmm. Do they know um where um Moultrie was at before he got on the, on the freeway? He was at a gas station in Oak Cliff, right? Yes, but before that, he was at uh, a a, girl, a female's house, a young woman's house. He stayed the night. They said, and then right. he went to the gas station, and then he felt that's when he realized he's like I'm probably being like I'm being followed. Yeah. And they say they follow him. They say they, according to, I guess witnesses or whoever was around the scene, they said they 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 know that they 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 think that he's been he was followed around for a while before they finally got on the freeway. Right. They they probably did. Because you just don't. Because it's kind of hard to uh, uh, unless you're like directly behind somebody and like on, on the streets. It's kind of h- hard to like. Tell them once they're on the freeway, because you know they get they get, they get lost pretty easily. Mm-hmm. So unless you were like on, uh, unless you were like you know, I don't know. Let's say you're on on Mockingbird, you know, in Dallas, and eventually got on 35. Yeah, because I worked over there. I've worked like where where they say he exited off of Camp Wisdom. I've worked over there. I worked at Pep Boys over there mm-hmm. when I was delivering car parts. So I would drive around. My job was to drive around, deliver car parts to my car. So me driving around, I, that's how I started learning all the streets. Mm-hmm. Like I learned, I don't learn streets on Oak Cliff. I don't learn streets in North Dallas. So you ask me where it is, I'm not gonna know the street name, but I'm gonna show you how to get there. Right. So with me, when they when they said he got shot by the zoo, I said, wait a minute. I said, there's no way he could have got up, got out on the bridge. And then there, and lo and behold, his car is right there parked on the bridge in the middle, and he and they said he ran, and I'm like, that sounds crazy, but then when you see the video and you see him laid out, you're like, well, I guess he had no other choice. You can't jump. You jump, you right. don't. You know, you mm-hmm. die. Yeah. I thought at that point you're stuck. Yeah. So at that point he was stuck. But my thing was, hold on, my thing was he couldn't. Um, he didn't have his regular car. Mo three was in a Honda. It was like a Honda Civic or a Honda Accord. It was one of those Hondas. He switched cars. He didn't have he didn't have a nice fancy looking car. He had a regular regular car, so people wouldn't spot him. Right. I mean, you would do that if you want to go to stay the night at a female's house and you're like a known figure. You wouldn't right. want to go in like a expensive car to someone's house that you don't know where. Like, obviously, he might know where she lives, but he, he might not. I mean, he might, but you wouldn't want to go somewhere. And your expensive car stay the night, have something happen to it, and not know the area. He he didn't have a weapon on him, did he? When they found him, uh, they said no, no weapon, no weapon. I think another thing is also, it's just I just want to know who on his side, his team or, or whatever, you know, why weren't they? I guess more aware, you know. That's kind of always another thing. I mean, just like you know, everybody's entitled to their privacy, and you know, you're not gonna you're not gonna let everybody know your 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 every move, every single second of your life, even your best friends. But I don't know. I just felt like there was just certain things that could have been done that maybe could have uh, avoided the situation. Like maybe maybe had somebody come pick him up. You know, somebody that he knows could have come pick him up from that location. Or he could have. I say he could have took an Uber, but even that's a risk. Yeah, that too. That's a risk too, because then you got somebody, a random person you don't know, you know, dropping you off, and they're like, "Yo, I just dropped off Mo Three, for real? Right? Where at? You know that? Mm-hmm. So that I, could happen. I, I put all that in, into account, and then I'm thinking, well, just like the Nipsey Hustle situation, when people didn't know where Nipsey was, you know, his security team didn't know he was out. He wanted to go by himself. Mm-hmm. Why didn't he have a security guard? Right. Is well, he was he was at his store. You know, he thought he was cool. I mean, if you're going to your store, the little plaza, I mean, that's that, that's what you're gonna feel like the most safe. So I get that. 
Well, I'm talking about for Mo three. Why didn't Mo three have security, or he could, right. or he could have had security tail him the next day? You know, see, like, it's certain stuff like okay, like if I'm at a gas station, I know I don't want to stick around a gas station for too long. Right. But if I could call somebody, yo, I think I'm getting followed. I I, I probably would have waited or just kept driving and tell them, yo, meet me at this location. So I know you going to be there. Call me when you get there so we can, you know, because I and think with I the, am getting tailed. Go ahead. And with the situation that, that Moultrie had been involved in in the past two years with him being shot at previously and, you know, just the, the history of, you know, the issues he's had with certain people, you would think that he would be more on his, you know, on his P's and Q's. Right. That, that like, this isn't new to you, man. Like, this has happened to you before. Like, so why, why now – out of all these different times, did it feel that you weren't? I guess I don't want. I don't want to say he wasn't prepared because he's not here to defend himself. But it just feels like there was more that I don't know. Like I said, I don't want to speak. Just throw out stuff like that because, like right. I said, he he can't speak, you know, for himself. So I'll say this. Um, now the audio that we played, our I played earlier at the beginning uh, with Trap Boy Freddie speaking, that came out. I don't know when it came out, but it came out like two, two or three days ago. So of him speaking on uh, Instagram live of him speaking about what happened, he has nothing to do with it. I, I know for a fact, I know his folks. I'm friends with his folks. I know he didn't have anything to do with that. So, but I still, but it's still going to be called allegedly. We still have to say allegedly he didn't have, you know, so, but for me, me personally, I think he's in, I know he's innocent. I'll say that fine. That's yeah. That's on me. The re- my two people, my two co-hosts, they don't know, <laughs> right? They they just go say allegedly. But well, I don't. I personally don't think he has anything to do with it. Okay, well then. We're I think he. Uh, I think. Uh, I think Trap Boy is smart enough to realize that you know he should just you know stick to rapping, get the money. You know, you know. I think I know times are tough right now because you know shows and stuff like that. But I don't think he would jeopardize how far he's got. He's gotten his career, and you know he still has a long way to go. Right. Um. Uh, but. I will, I will, I, I, I would like to think that he's smart enough to not risk his life over this, you know, this petty beef that's been going on for a while. Jacob, you got anything you want to add? No, no, okay, I understand. I understand. So, so with that, I guess is, I guess it's a good time to transition to the other Dallas situation, the Boosie shooting. Oh man, um, yeah, I've. Once again, I was shocked. The next or two days, Bruh, or not two on. days. Uh, it happened after the Mo three visual light candle. Mm-hmm. So they had a Mo three candle lighting for uh for Mo three. Uh, and then Boosie was there. He spoke. He said a few words. I didn't get to hear him speak. I mean, I wasn't there, but I was watching the video, and then I just turned it off. So the next day, Boosie goes to Big T, and like many people who are thinking who are going to listen to this. Why in the world was Boosie at Big T with all the money that he has? That's mm-hmm. the first thing my mama asked me. Why he had Big T? He got, and then I thought I said, well, uh, you know, I, I didn't realize he has too much money to be at a place like that. Like, not that there's nothing wrong with going to Big T. It's just at some point you do have to like, you you know, you have to think. Okay, I probably shouldn't be in this area. Right. If most especially three, if most knowing, got killed, knowing who I am. Right. Yeah, knowing who you are and your home, your homeboy slash, I don't know, was he signed with Boosie or was like he was? People keep saying that he was signed to uh to Badass Entertainment, whatever Boosie label's called. Okay. Um, I don't know how true that is. People just keep throwing it out there that yeah, he was signed. But they did an uh, album together, so we can say they, that. They, yeah, they did an album together. So. So like knowing that, and he just got killed. Not even a block. I mean, well, it was. It's right. The zoo from Big T, that might be three minutes, five minutes, like that. You know, I that's eerie. That's eerie. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have been over there. I, I personally think that that this event is not really getting. I feel like it's like very underwhelming to a lot of people, man. And to me, it's kind of like shocking. I'm like, man, this is like a. I'm not saying like nobody cares, but I feel like there should probably be like more of a reaction. If that makes sense, like, cause this is Boosie. Like, I know Boosie isn't as popular as he once was, um, but for this to happen to uh, to an artist 
that he was associated with. Yeah. I've, it's not just a coincidence. Is what I'm trying to say. No, I got you. Yeah. Like, is this the same people that did it to Mo three? I don't, I don't know. You know, that's up. That's up to speculation. But I don't think it's any coincidence that somebody, maybe, maybe they don't have the same vendetta against Boosie, but maybe they're trying to put out some sort of message. Uh, me. Um, when I seen this, at first I'm like, okay. Now they, you know, I'm thinking, okay, maybe this might have been, like, not a retaliation, but this might have been, like, okay, another setup. But I'm thinking to myself, that's, that's like, so random. Well, it's not even random. People get shot there all the time. Right. People do get shot there all the time. But with the circumstances that, that just happened, yeah, with the it, yeah, it, it, it's, it's hard to look at it as just an isolated, situ- uh, as an isolated incident, you know? Mm-hmm. Very hard. Very hard isolated situation. So... Top, so you know, the news kept coming, the news kept coming. He's been shot in the leg, he is uh, he's you know, he's fine. And then the police did an investigation, they didn't find any gun sales, they found nothing. So, I don't know, I honestly don't know what's going on. I don't know if there's a hip hop bounty hunter because you know, we still got two more. Well, one shooting, we gonna discuss. Well, I mean, we. Yeah, one shooting we will discuss. The other one we'll just glance over it. Uh, so after that happened, uh, Dr. Rose is a dentist. He's a rapper slash dentist. And he's making a killing. He makes like 130 grand a month. It, it really amazes me that he's a rapper and a dentist. I'm going to be honest with you. That's great. So he got shot in downtown Dallas. Some folks are saying he is connected with Trap Boy Freddy. I don't know how true that is. But that's all I'm going to say on that situation. And so, if that was retaliation, I don't know. And other news, just the other day, uh, Yellow, Be- Yellow Beezy's Baby Mama's Boutique Hair Salon Shop was burnt to the ground. And she st- and that shop is in Arlington. A lot of people got, got that mistake, and they thought that shop was at Big T. Because mm-hmm. Big T also caught on fire. But they caught on fire because of the AC unit. Okay. So that's why Big T was set on fire. Like, you know, just the AC, you know, b- bad AC unit. Big T, an old, old building. Did it happen on the uh, on the same day? Yes. It yes. did? Okay. Yeah, it so it's just, the- just, it's just a crazy coincidence. Crazy, yeah. craziest coincidence known to man. Man, what is going on, man? <laughs> the craziest coincidence. Especially oh in Yeah. So right now there have been, um, I want to say, uh, when I read the report, there have been more shootings this year than there were last year in the city of Dallas. And then seven of those shootings have been connected with rapper or you want a rapper beef or with rappers. Yeah. Entertainment industry. Yeah. yeah entertainment industry. But folks, and then, I just want people to be safe. Yeah, I really do. And then uh, last but not leaf, last but not least. Oh yeah. I, we're said, not done. I said leaf. Well, we're uh, done with some, the Dallas portion. <laughs> yeah, so, we're done with the Dallas. So, everybody so, in Dallas, please stay safe. Please yeah, stay exactly. safe. I, I love all y'all. I want y'all to be successful. All right. I want, you know, because I want Dallas to have a documentary. We, we ain't never going to have a documentary if we keep killing our rappers. Mm-mm. We ain't never going to get to have nothing. All, oh, all the rappers are going to be from Houston. They're gonna, it, there's going to be a documentary, but it's going to be for the wrong reasons. <laughs> wrong, wrong reason. Yeah. But go ahead, Ricardo. I'll let you finish your No, I was just going to say, you know, uh, Wrapping up with the Dallas portion is now it's trying to move a little bit further south to where you're currently at <laughs> and uh, discuss the uh, this one right here was so, so random. And to me, I never in a thousand years saw this happening. But my dude, Benny, the butcher man was shot in the leg at a Houston Walmart. Yeah, was at the Walmart. It was a Walmart. Mm-hmm. It was a Walmart. I didn't know it was at the Walmart. It was at the Walmart. Some people are still trying to figure out. I, I got a, I got a homeboy who I work with. He's uh, originally from Houston. He's from uh, actually Beat King's Hood in Studiwood on the north side. Okay. Uh, and he's like trying to like, you know, he's told me he's like been te- messaging his homeboy back in Houston trying to figure out exactly where on the south. Because I think it was on the south side. I think it was on the south side. Yeah. Trying to figure out which Walmart it was. But apparently Benny was in the hood uh, somewhere in Houston. And I get it, you know, when you when you when you're that street type of rapper, you you and when you go to a different city, you wanna you you wanna connect with the with the hood, you know, you wanna you wanna connect with the streets. Yeah. I get that. But you know, 
like I always said, you always got to be very aware of, of who's around you because, you know, the streets ain't ain't sweet. You know, no matter where you are, you know, somebody's always going always gonna to be trying to be on the come up, you know, come after you. And apparently Benny ended up at a Walmart. He said he was chilling in his car. Some dudes ran up on him, tried to get him for his chain. He wasn't having it. Eventually, one dude got frustrated and just let off a shot right. while he was sitting in his car. Now, I cannot confirm this because I read multiple reports. One report says he was in a Sprinter van. The other report says he was in a Rolls Royce. So if I wish I could find that article again, but the one in the Rolls Royce, I might, I believe more that you knew, okay, he's somebody. You see what I'm saying? You're not pulling up to Walmart in a Rolls Royce. Especially, especially Benny being in Houston, like, Benny's getting popular like each and every day, but I don't think he's at that level where the regular Joe will be like, Oh, that's Benny right there. You know, right, right. No, uh, exactly. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Unless you unless you see him in a nice whip and you're like, Oh, that dude's somebody. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go try to, you know, you know, take it from him. Yeah. You know, or whatever. And uh and I and I get that. I get Benny, you know, like I said, he he comes from the street, so you know, obviously somebody try to, you know, get him for his chain, he's gonna you know, automatically resist, you know, and be like, no, you ain't finna have this. But even then, man, like I said, you, you gotta be careful in these uh, cities. That's not yours. And apparently I know him in West side. I think they frequent Houston a lot. Cause okay. I think they live in Atlanta. You know, they're originally from Buffalo, New yeah. York, but I think they, uh, I think they have like cribs in Atlanta and they, and they, and they like travel between Houston and Atlanta a lot for what reason. I don't really know. Maybe to record, maybe for some other business. I don't, I'm not 100 percent sure. And I think they go to Dallas too a lot because I've listened to a lot of their songs and they bring up like Dallas and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean Texas is a pop. Texas is one of those, um, as Boosie would call it, those um, honeysuckle destination places. You're always right. gonna, you're always going to get a bag in Texas. Right. You always get a bag in Texas. No, no matter who you are, no matter what you're rapping about. There is money to be made in Dallas, Houston, mm-hmm. San Antonio. I don't know about Austin. I know for South by, yes, but that's right. kind of different. And then, of course, El Paso. So you're all you. So you always get some type of money there. That's even even I've I've heard even uh, Chicago rappers when they came down, uh, people like Rico Reckless. I talked to Rico Reckless at South by Southwest. He like, man, I right. love Dallas. And he like, man, I gave I gave. So and so, so and so, twenty thousand. You know, I gave him ten thousand for a feature. The other one, ten thousand for a feature. That was twenty thousand, and we did four. We did four, five songs. Right. Yeah. I, yeah. I remember Rico Reckless was in uh, Dallas and Fort was a lot with Freddie with uh, Go Yeah Yo with the Hill Fame. Yeah. Uh, team and all that. Uh, Bugatti Casino. So yeah. So yeah, people. I mean, so we show people love. You got to think Boosie and Yellow Beezy and Chop Boy Freddie was. At a Cowboys game last season, before mm-hmm. before COVID, yeah. So I, you know, I, I don't. Again, I I think it's no beef between that. I think it's no nothing that's gonna change. I hope nothing else happens. And for Benny the Butcher, man, I, hey man, I can't say I can't tell nobody not to come back to the state. Right. Like, yeah. I, stay alert when you're not in your city. Like, exactly. Yeah. I'm not saying he shouldn't come come to Texas. Right. I'm pretty sure he loves it, and I and I'm pretty sure he's smart enough to realize like like that the city don't hate him. It's just you know, like I said, just those crazy incident that just happened to happen in in a certain uh, city. It's just crazy that with everything else happened in Texas, it happened. It had to happen in Houston. You know. Stupid. Like, cause mm-hmm. yeah, I'm like I'm like, bro, you got tired of waiting on him, so you just shot him. I'm like, bro. Yeah. And then I ended up with nothing. I was like, come on now, bro. Like, an impatient robber. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, bro. An impatient robber. Like, come on now. Like, there's something you really could have done more than that. You really could have mm-hmm. done more than that. But all right. Um. So, all right. I hope this doesn't ruin any relationships right now for Texas and hip hop right now. Yeah. So as of right now, I guess is our this is our own civil war, basically. I mean, and we also got to think, we also still got that, uh, I don't know if it's still going on, but I know uh, uh, Sauce Walker and Go Yeah Yo had like some beef and also uh, Pe- Peso Peso too was was involved in all that. that so a, I, I enjoyed that record. That Sauce Walker record was hard. I that, that, that was crazy. It was 
Mm-hmm. Especially the acapella at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it was crazy. It was crazy. Uh, I hope that gets settled because I really like, you know, Yayo, to me, I haven't really been making the best music that he used to, like a few years ago. But I hope, you know, they're able to squash it and, you know, get together and put out some good records, you know, just get past the petty beef. To me, Yayo hasn't been good since 2016. I'll say 17. Okay. So, I say 17. So, I mean, so we're, we're, we're on the same, you know, it's kind of the same. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm glad to see uh, Sauce Walker and the rest of the team, you know, kind of having like a, they're almost having like a second, like a renaissance because they, you know, they started like in 2014 mm-hmm. with the, uh, uh, I'm too legit to quit it with the flavor in your ear, mm-hmm. all those crazy records. And now they're kind of having like a second wave with like Peso Peso and like a lot of a lot of their other uh, members like Drippy and stuff like that, you know, kind of on the come up. So, so I'm glad to see them kind of like shining again. So, all right. Well, bef- let me ask this. I mean, we're done with all the, we're done with those topics. But let me ask this just to play devil's advocate. Are we upset with um, hip hop being hip hop? Like. like you see what I'm saying? If we if we weren't a fan of them, but we were a fan of hip hop, and we like, oh, okay, this is gonna happen. Like, like if you didn't stay in the state of Texas, you stayed in New York. You just like, right. you know, are we upset with hip hop being hip hop right now? Just 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 for Dallas' sake, Dallas and Houston's sake. I I can't be mad at hip hop. I think I can be mad at the at the people not being able to reason with each other okay. and then it escalated into something else. But I don't think I could be mad with the genre. I do believe that, that the music can like maybe instigate along with like fans. Like, yes, definitely. But I don't think I could ever be mad at the whole genre of hip hop. Cause I think at the end of the day, the responsibility still, still lies on the individual. So man, that's all I got to say. You good, Jacob? You can't blame hip hop for uh, what uh, individuals do themselves. Carlos said it best. Mm-hmm. All, right. All right. I um. I mean, yeah. I don't know how I feel. I instigate uh, for sure. Blame, instigate. Don't don't blame the genre. Blame the person. They instigate for sure. Don't get don't get me wrong. Like I I I've always believed that, and I forgot who put out this tweet recently. I think it was maybe six six hundred breezy, but he said that a lot of these beasts in Chicago and like other places, a lot of them you know, get to the point where somebody ends up dying because of like all this instigating that be on Twitter and just everywhere else. So I do believe that, you know, I do believe like the fans and certain people on the internet really do be pushing these people to like do things that, you know, like I said, I I, I think they should still be held accountable, but we don't, we don't be helping with all this other stuff that be going on online, you know? Right. That's true. Right. But I feel like even in the streets, people be instigating even oh yeah, your homeboys. You get that rah 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 rah. Like mm-hmm. you ain't do this, you ain't do that. And so you right. gotta you gotta stick out your chest a little bit to prove your yeah. 